Hello ladies and welcome to Artichoke. Um, we, this is the first time that I'm doing the intro introduction, so bear with me. You might get, you might get a few ums and ahs. <laughs> um, this is my comfort pen we've just been laughing at. Um, anyway, so Artichoke, let's see if I can remember what Sarah says. Artichoke is an independent shop. We are on the marketplace in Swaffham and we have a website. And many of you regulars know that our website is, um, there's just the two of us here, Sarah and I running it, and um, we do our very best. Sometimes we get it wrong and we don't forget to send people like the lovely Maggie a pair of socks. <laughs> so sorry Maggie. Um, but most of the time um, we, we get it very right. Um, right, so today we are doing, you can see that behind me I've got lots of lovely loveliness for Christmas. Um, we also have the neighbours flashing Christmas lights, a <laughs> uh, nice little touch. Um, we, have, uh, we have lots of gift ideas. So we've come up with a list of 10 gift recipients and we on our suggestions and what we what basically we would buy for our mum our daughter our aunt our sister so forth um so if you like and you agree with what we're choosing so as i show you my choices if you agree with me on my choices then press the love button press that heart because that helps us and it also shows us that you're there and you're watching and you're enjoying and if you don't like it, don't say anything. <laughs> and just to let you know, ladies, that I'm behind the camera oh, at the see. moment. So if you've got any questions, ask away and I will try and help. Can I just say a quick hello to people, Donna? Yes. Have you got time? Yes, yes, yes. So hi to Sue, hi to Helen, Anita, Michaela, Lorraine, Jackie, Rosemary and Linda. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Right, and I'll um, kick off with... Now, this is something that I bought my mum last Christmas, and she has worn and worn and worn. So these, this is um, Cotigans. We've been doing these, started doing these Cotigans last year, um, sold so well and was so popular that this year we have a new range of colours. So they are online as the Knitted Smart Coatigan and I'm going to put it on because my mum is the same height as me and the same build as me and um, the, uh, the main difference though is that where I love black my mum loves um, the uh, creams and ecrus, off-whites and camels. So my mum goes for the, what do we call those tones, Sarah? Neutral. Neutrals, sorry. My, so my mum is very much for neutrals. So the, so I purchased this for her last year in the Ecru. So this is the same coatigan in the stone. So I may not, oh actually I don't mind it over black. It like looks fab over black. Over black. Yeah. You can't see because yeah. we've got to put the mirror up. Yeah, but but you, you look cool. Yeah. yeah. So and the reason mum, mum was a bit nervous about because when I showed it to her, because she's only five foot and the difference is that um, I wear heels and she doesn't, um, um, she was a bit worried that it was going to be too long for her um, and I said just try it, just try it because we've gone beyond that stage of buying surprises. We no longer buy surprises for each other, we buy things that we know we're going to use and we're going to wear. So this is what I sent and I didn't go home last Christmas, thank you Boris. Um, so this is what I sent to her. So um, pockets, uh, oh sorry yes, and the reason that it was good is because, can you see it's got a straight edge, it's got a straight hem. It's gorgeous so isn't short, it? the straight hem is great and it's lovely wrapped round, cosy, can wear it in the house. And once it's sort of past its best, what I've found, because I own quite a few of these, is once it's past its best, ladies, it makes a great house coat. So when you don't want to be caught out wearing your dressing gown on a bitterly cold day, uh, as we're having here today. I think other people have heating, Donna. Other people have heating, <laughs> yes. do they? Heating, yeah. what's that? I don't know. <laughs> I know it's something that we've read about, but other people have it in their lives. <laughs> well, turn that thing 
that down. <laughs> and uh, anyway, house coat. So uh, cozy up in your. Ooh. This is definitely getting the thumbs up. Is and Michaela's really? just said she's mum to a dog. So can you get your dog something from Artichoke, Michaela? Can you get your dog something from Artichoke? Oh, oh. We'll have to think about we'll that one. About that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. So this is this is my choice. Um, so this is online. This is the stone one that I've chosen for my mum. Not sure what I've done with the hanger. And those are sixty pounds. So that's the stone. So and whilst you're getting the next prezi, I'm just going to say a few more hellos to Debbie, Maureen, Suzanne, Mary Maxwell. Oh, Christine's watching. Hi, Chris. Chris Lewis, Elaine. Um, <laughs> Michaela's dog is receiving her wish list from us. <laughs> So she's going to give her the wish list that she's created online with us to her dog. Well done, Michaela. I'm going to talk about wish lists later. Oh, that 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 bag is gorgeous. Do you know, I, I have five dogs. That means that five extra presents for me. <laughs> right, um, this bag. This is the Mickey Mouse. This is my choice for my daughter. My daughter is, um, she'll be, uh, she's 20. Had to think then. So 20, almost 21. She is very difficult to, to buy for. She, I dressed her for the, for the first 10 years of her life. She was head to toe in pink. And now she is so not girly girly. She's the opposite of girly, whatever that is. And everything has to be black. Well, actually, she's a mother's daughter. Yes. <laughs> so, and it also has to be, this is perfect for her because look, it's the python print. So she's very much into snakes and spiders and scorpions and skulls and that kind of daughter. So this one is called the Chloe Python. And I'll just pick this up so you're not seeing it. So it takes the black, it pen. takes the snakes. Why else did we think it was perfect? Uh, because uh, she, uh, for work. Oh, for work, that's so it, yeah. Room. Yeah, it's so, it's so great big, for isn't her it? To take to work. So Tallulah works at the local uh, vet practice and um that's a great thing for packed lunch packed lunch in there um you know her everything in there basically yes yeah. so anyway so that's my choice 51 pounds and let's hope she's not watching <laughs> <laughs> mary says thank you for your silk the silky shirt it arrived today i hope you like it mary mm -hmm. send us a photo and Teresa is watching so's robin so's jerry Oh, so is Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Right, my next choice, I just have to see where it is, because I have a feeling... Uh, oh, no, I moved it, isn't it? Right, so my next gift idea is for um, a favourite aunt. And my favourite aunt, or perhaps I shouldn't name my favourite <laughs> aunt, in case all the other aunts are watching. <laughs> no, I don't think they would be, actually. No. So my favourite aunt um, is Linda. So Linda um, is a very glamorous aunt, and uh, and I just think this would be her to a team. And you haven't known her all your life, have you? No, I've only, I only met Linda 10 years ago, and I am going to open it up to show you first. Oh my God. So this, um, along with all the other colours, and, and I will show you a few now, these are the faux silk scarves. They are not online. You have to message us, phone us, Put a message down here to reserve these. Um, this one is my favourite. And I, I can visualise Linda wearing this. So I hope I'm right. But as with buying gifts, you never know. But the thing is that if she doesn't like it, she has two daughters that she that I'm sure one of them would like it. Um, but yes, so you've got the animal print. You've got the turquoise with the sort of goldy, uh, like a bronzy coloured edging. And that is my favourite, so that would go to my favourite aunt and um, it will brighten up any outfit. So those are £19, which are bold. So let me just show you a couple of other, the others. So here's the pink one, really quickly. That's really pretty. That is gorgeous. That would just you lift any outfit, colours, won't yeah? it? You so, need to keep mine under your hat. Mine's yeah, a travelling one. I Right, um, so that's that's my. Um, oh my aunt. God, Joe's watching. I can't wait for your gift, Joe. <laughs> go, go for a dog walk. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so that's my aunt, and that's my favourite aunt. Um, 
Okay, yeah, my face. So, uh, and my aunt, it's, I'm not going to see her. It's going to be um, a postal gift. So, obviously, something like that's easy to post as well. Right, um, next gift. Oh, next gift is what I would have bought for my mother-in-law ha if we were buying gifts. But my mother-in-law is the lovely Janet. Um, she's a very lovely mother-in-law. I'm not just saying that, I mean that. Um, she is, um, but she's like me. She's just like me in the fact that we like to choose our own gifts. I picked that up from Janet over the years. She's like me, we like to choose our own gifts. And, um, we, and she doesn't like, um, you know, she likes to have things that she's going to use. So this is what I would have chosen for you, Janet, if we were buying each other presents <laughs> this year. So um, I have chosen, I'm just going to take out this part, which I meant to do earlier and I didn't. Right, ladies, this is the crossbody uh, cross bag by Gianni Conti. So I'm just going to hook those on. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I can see Janet using this because she's a very active mother-in-law. She's here, there and everywhere. Well, pre-lockdown, obviously. But this she still works, doesn't yeah, she? This is £54. Uh, and also because she's tall, that's going exactly. to be the right that height. Was, uh, that height. Was what I was just ah! about to say. I was just about to say that she's very tall, she's the opposite of me. My husband is 6'4", and um, his, his mum is not far behind him. So um, and so that would be lovely. It would be Bring perfect. it up close to the camera so we can see. Honestly, it's so fab. So let's show it's you lovely. And can you, the pockets. smell of the leather is so amazing, isn't I'm it? I'm assuming is your phone pocket. No, I think you've got a phone one inside. Well, but I would put a phone Oh, would you? Phone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, but little purse, credit cards. You've got a zip it. You've got a zipping um, area mm. inside. You've got a separate area there. And um, I, no, I think I put my phone in. Oh, there. that's where I my think, sonnies oh. are going, darling. Just, oh, sonnies, yeah. Anyway, that I think um, would be perfect. But what I, she loves her earrings, and I decided to choose these. So these earrings. Can you come in a bit closer? A bit closer. You see them. Yeah, just stand still for a bit so it focuses. Yeah, I think we're there. Yeah. Yeah. Should have had a manicure. Uh, Fifteen <laughs> pounds and fifty pence, and those are the uh, gold open knot. So by Dante. So whenever you purchase Dante um, jewelry, they always come in the little gift pouch. Um, and so those are my choice, and I think those are go a fab. really lovely present. Oh, Janet, if only you <laughs> hadn't decided not to exchange <laughs> presents. Just say hello to Linda. You need to turn off soon, darling, because we're going to have a little look at your present. Alison, hi. Stephanie, lovely to see you. Hi, Liz. Right. Oh, Joe, this is my present. <laughs> so this next um, category is for your best friend. And um, mine is the lovely Jo up in Wales. And what I, now, this is what I would have wanted to buy Jo. Because obviously she's living in Wales. She has two dogs. She uh, makes me very envious every day. She's walking in those hills and on the beach. And so the perfect. <laughs> she says she's so excited. Ta -da! The perfect, you would think, you would think that the perfect for somebody who is in Wales, beautiful colour, um, and is walking every day, would be these luxury alpaca walking socks, £24. So you would think this. However, trust me to have a best friend who is, gets claustrophobic if she wears socks. I can't believe this. And goes for walks <laughs> on the Welsh beach in the Welsh mountains in flip-flops. She obviously doesn't have children. Oh my Please god! I don't think she's, she's real. Oh yeah, everybody else is. I can't see if Joe is. Yeah, no, she's crying. She's laughing she, so much. She, she may not be my best friend after I come back with the nation. <laughs> She socks. says she wants flip flops, she doesn't want the socks. <laughs> anyway, so I can't buy her those. So, what I came up with, I can't remember what I came up with now. Oh, what I came up with was this. So, another great. Th now, this you're going to love, ladies. 
This is the foam bag. So I'm just going to open it up a little bit. This is the foam bag, adjustable strap so that you can have it so it's just under there or you can have it hanging down anywhere. And obviously it's a foam bag, but if you're working in those Welsh walking in those Welsh mountains, you can fit your phone and a load of doggy poo bags in there. Oh yeah, and keys. And keys. Oh well I would hook my keys on too. Yeah. There we go. So that Oh, now she's watching. I can't get it for her. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you'll look you'll look really, really uber glam marching up and down the hills, Joe. Yeah. Right. So this is called the. If this is online, ladies. It's called the Ellie Italian Leather Animal Print. Um, it's a bag in the cow print. It's thirty pounds. Hi, so Katie. Hi, Vivian. Hi, Hilary. Hi, Helen. Thanks for joining us. We're doing. Gift, Christmas gifts. We're picking our 10 favourite Christmas gifts today. Right, uh, next on the list, um, Secret Santa. Right, so Secret Santa, obviously, you're wanting, let's face it, let's be honest, the aim is to look as if you've spent an awful lot of money, but actually haven't. So the least amount of money spent, but you want it to look like it's uh, you've spent a lot of money. A lot of money, and I think we've cracked it here because look at those. They're beautiful. These are beautiful earrings by Dansk. These earrings are they're they're never um, they use base metals of copper. They don't use nickel, but they use base metals. I know. I remember one was copper. Um, I think most of it's copper, and then it's gold plated, gold -plated. isn't it? But I, I, yeah. So these are, we haven't got many of these left. I think literally there might only be a couple of pairs left. But, but they are online, aren't they? These are online. They're fifteen pounds, which of, I think you'll agree they look um, a lot like they're worth a lot more than fifteen pounds. And this is, we can send you if they are for a gift. We can send um, this. If, obviously, if it's through the post, we can't post it like that. But these boxes come in flat packs, so we can send you the box. So as long as you crack them. on, because we've got about six or seven left. Yeah, there you go. So but we they, we, we do have gift pouches for those as well. Yeah, so we, yeah. So if you crack on and order those, we can send those out. So that's my secret Santa idea. Okay. Now overseas. Overseas is a tricky one because you've got to pick something for. Um, somebody and be able to post it so uh, it's just got to be a scarf hasn't it so obviously you've seen we've got the silky scarves would be perfect oh we forgot to turn the phone off again Sarah <laughs> if that's you on the phone sorry I'm not answering um so the silky scarves are a great idea and they're going to pack very flat and that's going to be your cheapest option however the masterpiece scarves are just such lovely gifts Oops, I've dropped one. And I actually did a video on this last night, ladies. So um, you can go on to YouTube or you can just scroll back through Facebook. Or actually, if you go online and look at the Masterpiece scarves, I've popped a video on the product where we go through every single scarf mm. and um, I show it to you as the painting and scrunched up as a scarf. Right. And the other, so what I'm doing though is showing you so yes we know they're scarves we know they're pashminas but what i'm going to show you are two other ways of wearing them so one is the judy dench which if you want to show because obviously if that's scrunched up nobody knows it's a girl with a pearl but if you're doing the judy dench then you can wear it like My that god over a plain black dress over a plain black. You know, isn't that just stunning yeah. so it, it, it's basically um you know, you're making a feature of the scarf. Mm. Nobody's going to look at whatever else you're wearing because that's all everybody's going to look at are um, the Mona Lisa and the girl with the pearl. Do you know, I would no more have thought of doing a Judy than Fly to the Moon. Right. That but is what, such a brilliant idea. Yes, but what Judy, Judy Dench also does is she broaches it. Is it, yeah. yeah? So she'll broach yeah, she'll it there. You'll, you'll see her on Jonathan Ross mm. or, no, Graham Norton. She goes on Graham Norton. And you'll see her very often. She'll have a scarf over... Um, worn. I'm not sure you'd call it a scarf though. When you, when it's worn like this, I, I, I don't know. Um, 
Dawn French used to do it sometimes as well. Um, and then she broached it there. So that's another way of wearing the pressure. So this is for going overseas. But then the other thing, and I have to say that my friend Jo does this, and I just think it's a great idea, is if you've got somebody and you're really stuck, and they might be an art lover, this might be their favourite painting or uh, any of the others, you can use these... Um, on the backs of chairs. Mm -hmm. If you keep this over your favourite armchair, so you've got somebody who's got a favourite armchair, this is on the favourite armchair, very decorative, part of your lovely, um, uh, you know, feature room. And you don't have to kick the and dogs then, so hard when they get on it. <laughs> yeah, keep the dogs on it. But then once you're, once you're sitting there watching your telly and you're getting a bit chilly, you can just pull it off and wrap it round. So that's my idea. So rather than sticking it in a cupboard and forgetting about it, is um, you know adapt it and use it ar around around the room. There we go. So that is overseas. Teresa says she's wanted the Ellie bag for ages, and her husband has agreed to buy it for her. Oh. That's great. Well done. Persistence. That's what's <laughs> required. <laughs> yeah. So those are for overseas. Those um, masterpiece scarves are twenty pounds. Right. What's next? Oh, now we get to the exciting bit, because now it's me. <laughs> right, so this is me from my husband. Um, but now perhaps it ought to be me from my husband and one from my dog. I'll do a Michaela. Um, so this is me. Um, I'll buy, I'll give, he can wrap. To be fair, though, I have had a few years where he's independently bought and he's not done too badly. So, mind you, he's not going to watch this, so I don't have to say but um, so yes, so this is these are my choices as things I would give my husband to uh, wrap up for me. So my first choice are these luxury alpaca bed socks, and I've gone for these are online as this is the cream. These these are online as being taupe, but I think they're a little bit. You see, in this light, they they taupe yeah, again. If you put them with taupe, they look taupe. If you put them with grey, they look grey. So we're the, the the jury's out, but we're calling yeah. them taupe. Yeah. But in in the in the in broad daylight, they look grey. Yeah. So they're now they're looking taupe again. Right. Um, anyway, so this is my choice because I yes, I have Reynards, which means that my feet are like blocks of ice when I get into bed. And for some reason, he doesn't want me tucking his feet, my feet, mm. under his legs to get them warm. So bed socks are a, a must. So those, along with look, there you go. There you. There you go. <laughs> you look that, a bugger in those. That's me. Come around to my house on a winter's evening. That's how you'll see me. Right. So those are my first choice. The bed socks immediately. Uh, my next choice is for the um, masterpiece. Now, this is my choice because although I love, my favourite painting is The Girl with a Pearl Earring, I just love that, I actually, as worn as a scarf, this is my choice because I love those colours. Absolutely lovely colours. The girls are saying on camera they look grey, but in this shop they look taupe. I mean, it is just, uh, it's just, it's that tonal yeah. thing. It's like, they are like a stone colour. We should have called them stone. stone. We yeah. will, we'll rename them stone. So that's my, that's another one of my choices for myself, from my husband, because I love the colours in this. And this one is called, the. I always want to call it the Bridge of Givenchy. So if you hear me saying that, but apparently it's the bridge of Giverny. I'm just Giverny. laughing because Hillary said, as nice as the bed socks are, you need to give him the sack or go on strike. <laughs> <laughs> I've done both, darling. <laughs> right, okay. So that's, that's um, now that's not enough. So what I chose, I can't, oh, I couldn't remember where I put it, is... This is how I would like it to be, um, both of those items to arrive. I would like them to arrive in the red backpack. Really torn between the red and the black, I'll be honest with you, but this is just such a beautiful red. And um, so I've had my eye on this for a while. Probably most of you know that. <laughs> so those are my ideas for my husband to get me. And what are you getting yourself, Donna? Right. Oh, God, this is the most difficult one. Right. What am I getting myself? So th this is the most difficult one. 
because usually I'll just um, get whatever the husband doesn't get. Mm. By the time. Anyway, this is going to be, I, I've, I've popped it on. This is my first choice as a gift to buy myself for Christmas, for getting through another year. I thought you had one and already. I've got a silver one. Oh, right, That's okay. That's why I've put this one on the right, list, okay. ladies, because I've got the silver one. And you're moving over to gold now, that it, the gold accessories are on trend. I know you mix. No, so I, I mix. Yeah. I mix, and I've always liked, but I, you know, mainly silver, but I've always liked... Um, gold i do have a couple of gold necklaces that looks fab uh, i love I, it with that shirt yes that's why look and i'm wearing it long so that's why um because i know i wear this in the silver so much i uh, i just think that that's a must for the gold yeah and i mix so that's my first choice as my gift for myself and of course there are so many bags i'm just going to pop that there there are so many bags that um, I, I can choose. So last year, I'm going to show you what I bought for myself last year. And this. And was... you've worn it, you've bought it in today. Oh, I've got it here today, actually. Yeah. I could have got mine, yes. So this was my, oh, look, the necklace, see, gold detail. So the mm. necklace would go beautifully with this. And this goes perfect with this shirt. So the shirt I'm wearing, in case you don't know, ladies, is the, it's the Tallulah Cut. So the um, it's a silky Gucci. It's the silky. It's called the silky Gucci, but it's the, the shape of it is called. The We're getting Gucci. lots of loves with with the handbag, which the is handbag. actually the large quilted handbag, which is retailing at one hundred and twenty pounds and is online. So this was what I bought myself last year, and um, this year, and I've just used and used it. Um, and so, if I had to choose another bag this year, oh God, it's so difficult. Ooh. Um, anyway, the other thing that I chose for myself, there's another bag that I would choose for myself this year because it would be really practical, but I can't pick that because Sarah's showing me that. <laughs> That's why I'm like, which bag? Anyway, this was the other item that, um, so, so basically now I'm all about, I, I know what I like and I know what I'm actually using they're not just sitting so i've got that silver pebble necklace i know i'll wear the gold i have this scarf in a gray i'm i've noticed that this year i'm wearing a lot more navy have you noticed i've worn a lot yeah more a lot navy? more navy but so, i think you started last year you just didn't notice okay <laughs> so um, so this is going to be my gift to myself of choice um, a scarf that I already have, I know I love, I wear it in the, I have it in the graphite grey and this is a beautiful, what I call a sort of a French navy. Can you, can you see the... It looks fab. Does it stand out? Yeah. Yeah, and that's how we wear that and that, that is £20, ladies. Not online yet, it will be soon. Mm -hmm. I have just got to um, republish it. Okay, but we, do, we do still numbers. have it, we have it in a beautiful, beautiful pink. Um, a, a baby pink, and we do have it in the grey. Can I give you those? Yeah. And I'm going to start because we've only got half an hour. So oh, right. Okay, up. okay. I've overrun. So before I start talking about my gifts, ladies, I just want to talk about number one gift wrapping. You are blessed with the two worst packers in the world packing your gifts. You think after all these years we would have got the hang of packing, but we still struggle. We will, however, gift wrap for you if you ask us to. We will not automatically gift wrap, but if you put a note on your order, we will gift wrap it. Do not expect miracles. It will be basic, but it will be wrapped. Um, the other thing is, uh, ladies, remember your wish list. If you have an artichoke account, so basically, if you've opened an artichoke account and you buy with us as a customer, if you go into your profile, which is the little person at the top of your laptop, or it pulls down on a, a mobile and I think an iPad, you can go into your um, account and you can see your wish list, which you can then email either to us and then tell your husband to ring us, or you can email your wish list to the relatives that want to buy for you. So as you're scrolling through the website, just add an item to your wish list, then go into your profile and you can email your wish list to whomever you choose. 
Right, I'm going to start whistling through my top 10 gifts. Uh, the first one is for my daughter George. Now I always give my kids money and I always say I'm just going to put a little something in the stocking for you. And they always end up with God knows how much stuff because their stockings is a bit like me buying food for Christmas. Ever since they were tiny, I've stashed stuff in the sitting room. So don't eat it, it's for Christmas! <laughs> and then in February, I find all these manky packets of crisps. So I do the same with their stockings. I buy things and forget I bought them stuff and buy them more. But this year, I'm going to try hard to focus and I'm getting proper gifts rather than old tat so that I won't forget I bought stuff. And I won't buy lots more. So Georgie's going to get cash from us. But um, I don't know if your daughter's the same, but mm. mine doesn't actually use a handbag. She wanders around with a purse like this and her phone clutched in Actually, her hand. that's what I bought to Lula last year, a purse so like that. she just yeah. wanders around yeah. like this. I don't even know where her keys are. So uh, she loves big purses. So I thought I would get her this Gianni Conti purse which is 59 pounds so that is actually most of her stocking budget gone if my husband is listening <laughs> lots and lots of cards inside coins here notes there if anybody still carries notes so this is for george and it is going in her stocking it's the gianni it's the large zip purse with leather trim from gianni conti now next I'm buying for an aunt. Now this is a strange one because um, my Uncle Mike died uh, just before Christmas last year and he was married to Priscilla who is my aunt. Um, they lived on the west coast of Scotland up near Gerlock. So I haven't actually seen Priscilla I should think for about 20, at least 20 years because she used to stay in Scotland to look after the dog oh, so that Mike could come and see um, us. And I think we probably are the nearest, I think we're probably the only relative she's got left, even if it is by marriage. So I would like to, to get her a gift for Christmas, but clearly I don't really know what to get her. So I'm going to give her artichoke vouchers. I know she's looked at the website. I know that uh, she struggles to buy clothes in Inverness, which is the nearest place that she can go shopping. And I thought this actually means that she can buy something for herself. So our vouchers come in de denominations of £10. If you want to buy them for somebody who will be spending them online, you must tell us so that we attach a coupon code to the voucher. As they arrive normally, they can only be used in the shop or over the telephone by somebody ringing up and saying, I've got voucher number so-and-so. But if you want somebody to be able to spend them online, put a note on the order and we will attach a coupon code to each voucher. They come in denominations of £10 and there is no time limit on them. Vouchers for Auntie Priscilla. Next up is um, my best friend. Now, like so many of you, um, we, for, as friends, we don't exchange gifts anymore. What we try to do is go out for lunch or go to London or just have a special treat. The only friend I have that I exchange gifts with is Linda. And um, we tried not exchanging gifts and then we forgot. We we're back to doing it. <laughs> and she actually loves black, but she works uh, for a local uh, kitchen design company that also puts kitchens in. So she spends time in the office but she also spends time in the warehouse. So she has that juxtaposition where she needs to be comfortable and warm, 
but if clients come into the showroom she needs to look fairly presentable so I thought this would be perfect for her it's the plaid what have we called this it's the plaid print long sleeve jacket it's online at 75 pounds it's smart but it's toasty and warm so this is what I would buy for Linda and I'd rather hope that somebody might be buying one for me too. I love this. So that's for my friend Linda. Next up is Secret Santa. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about Secret Santas because if the price limit is too low, you just end up with more crap. Yep. You beam at somebody politely and you bin the moment you get home. Um, I'm not <laughs> sure why we need to be doing this secret Santa thing. Sorry, Linda said yes, please. She forgot to go away. <laughs> Drat it, she's seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Linda and I have been Trinid on Monday. I Ooh. can't wait. So she might actually be getting a load of stuff from Trini. We'll have to wait till Monday. We're going to Brent Cross. And I can't remember what we're having done, Linda. Are we having our colours done or something? Or colours, makeup? I can't remember. She organised it. But anyway, getting back to Secret Santa. Not sure I completely approve of them. Whenever I've asked to be to, to do a Secret Santa, and somebody said, I only spend a five or I only spend a ten, I've ignored them. Because I do not see the point of buying something that is senseless. So for our Secret Santa, I have decided that there is a limit of £20 and I have chosen these gorgeous gold double loop earrings from Dante. Lower it a bit please. Which are 1850. There we go. And you know this is just a proper present isn't it? It mm. might be within a secret Santa limit but it's something that you would treasure for a long time and you would get an awful lot of use out of and surely it's it's better to spend 20 quid on okay. something that somebody's actually going to wear rather than 10 quid on rubbish i just don't get it myself anyway that's my secret santa lecture a gift to post overseas well um we we talked or donna's talked about the silk scarves I thought this would be a natty one to send overseas. It's uh, what? It's nineteen pounds, and the reason I've chosen it is because it's stamps and uh, postcards, and you can see there's a picture of the Eiffel Tower. There's a few gems. I've got it the wrong way up, and I think this is gorgeous. A beautiful scarf and will suit so many colourings and of course it will fold really really small so that you probably could get away actually with sending this as a letter yeah you? yeah that's what I was thinking yeah so 20 quid um for the scarf probably it would cost you just as much to post it to mm. Australia <laughs> yeah it would um, 19 and, those are yeah 19 sorry and actually I must remember we've got somebody wants us to send an Annabelle shirt out to Australia I should have done that today sorted out the PayPal thing um yes let's do that tomorrow so we are sending stuff out to Australia and somebody wanted us to sell send something to Texas yesterday oh gosh um hostess gift right now my hostess gift basically uh, is following the same thought process as a secret Santa. Whenever we're asked out to supper or to lunch, we immediately go out and grab some flowers from Waitrose and some chocolates on no. a bottle of wine, all of which are relatively expensive and all of which are going to last days. As far as the chocolates and the wine are concerned, they're going to last hours. And now we're thinking more about sustainability, about purchasing with care, buying things that have value. I thought, wouldn't it be nice to actually buy a pair of earrings as a hostess gift? So that next time you're invited out to supper, think about buying a small piece of jewellery for your hostess, something that she will love 
and that will last her for a long time rather than something that can be gloved. So Sue Day is asking, are those clip-on or studs? I was going to get ah. to that. Because, ladies, we do have a very, 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 very good selection of clip-on earrings. So lots of ladies don't have their ears pierced. If you're wanting a gift to somebody who doesn't have their ears pierced, have a little look on our website because it will state whether they're studs or whether they're for pierced ears. So these are called the, I can't read my writing. Brushed. Brushed gold disc <coughs> earring. They're 19 pounds 50. And as Donna has mentioned already, you will receive a presentation bag. Next up is my cousin, Soph. Now my mum always used to joke that I went into mourning when I was 17 and I've never come out again. Sophie was the same. She moved into black probably when she was 16 or 17. But unlike me and Donna, she actually doesn't wear any other colour. She always is head to toe in black. She works from home. She has quite a casual lifestyle. <coughs> and um, I thought last year, I think I got her a James Lakeland jumper. I can't remember. But... This year, I thought this black coat again would be fab for her because it is smart enough to go to a meeting if she has to, but warm enough to wear at home. So it's really toasty. Now, obviously, Donna's an 8 to 10. She's 5 foot. I'm a 14 to 16. I'm just going to roll back the arms because I like that little shorter sleeved look. Um, uh, I'm 14 to 16, Soph is about a 12, so it would look perfect on her, and she's about an inch or so shorter than me, um, and this is £60. The other thing that I think she will love is this slouchy, this is called uh, 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 slouchy bag with leather strap. It's I love this. And I yeah. think she would love this as well. And it's really practical. Um, I think it will really suit her lifestyle. It looks really smart. It's got the nylon bag with the um, leather strap. Now she has a house in Italy, so they go out to Italy a lot, or well, really whenever she can. Um, and so this, I'm not going to fiddle around with the strap, but it's got a crossbody strap so that she can just, oh, should I, I should do this properly. That, that can be, I like this because that can be a large handbag, it can be a sports bag and it can be a going so away for the just, weekend she bag. Can just go on and play with this. Yeah. And I could fit enough in that to last a so, weekend away. And actually, you know, if you made it longer, it would actually become crossbody. Yeah. But this is a great bag to travel with. And yeah. then if you are travelling somewhere, if you take the gubbins out, it can be folded flat and put in a suitcase. So it can be taken as a second bag. So these are online and um, I have no idea how much they are because I haven't priced them. I haven't written the, the um, price down, but I think they're about 60 quid. So that is my present for Sophie. Um, work colleague. Now, this is for Donna because she is my main work colleague. And it is no surprise because I have no imagination. <laughs> and I get her the same thing every year. What I do is I get her a little something from Temple Spa and this year I thought this isn't her gift but I will be getting her something very similar I normally go on get tell everyone I'm phobic care. of air fresheners <laughs> this, this is why she doesn't want this but um Temple Spa not only so basically I get her skincare because it saves it by herself and it is lovely skincare isn't it yeah gorgeous so this is a little diffuser and this is called the, oh, I did have it a minute ago. This is called the Joyous Life Festive Diffuser. It's £38. It is from Temple Spa. If you have a little chat with Michaela, she will sort you out with gifts for anyone in your life. 
your, your, the men in your life, the women in your life. There's something at Temple Spa for, for everybody. Don't go directly onto the website, ladies. Have a chat with Michaela Franklin at Temple Spa. You'll find her Facebook group. She is our skincare guru, so we like to support her rather than just going onto the website. So that is a great gift for any work colleague, anything from Temple Spa. Right, present from my husband to me. Now recently, uh, because I have no commitments anymore, my children have left home, um, my mum and dad are sadly no longer with us, and um, like me, they loved travelling. Uh, so now I'm able to, um, I get on a plane whenever I can. So my lovely husband doesn't actually buy me gifts anymore. He gives me cash because it means I've got one more trip uh, to go on. However, having said that, before I started travelling, he never bought me presents anyway because he's pretty <laughs> crap at it. He's, he's just, you know, it's like Chris, they're not romantic, are they? Um... They've got many, many, many good points, but romance is just something that they don't grasp. So, no, he bought me gifts, I think, once. In Chris, fact, Chris also... organised me um, a, an extra special visit when we went to Mauritius to spend two days at a... Um, tortoise breeding facility oh, oh, oh my god that is that was it that is much better that's the yeah, best thing I mean, he could have bought he, me he actually yeah. About oh it, yeah it really did yeah put some thought into that mm. Rob when we first started going out with each other about uh, two weeks after we met he arrived at my house with uh, I'm sure I've told you this before with a dozen red roses yeah. And I knew Which, when she said, how, how wonderful is that? That yes, sounds great. Yes, it is, uh, honestly, I was close to tears. I thought, oh my God, I have hit the jackpot. Then I looked a bit more closely, <laughs> and they were plastic ones she got in the cell. <laughs> from outside the garage up the road. <laughs> you know those horrible felt plastic roses? He bought me a bloody dozen of those. I tell you what I should have known. I should have walked away <laughs> at that point. Right, so if, if I were instructing him to send me presents, I would have this. It's our pom-pom scarf. That is lovely. One of our last Can I have year. I got any hearts for that? What do you think to that, ladies? Um, I love it. I absolutely I'm really love it. I'm really sorry I didn't get it online last night. I ran out of time, but and we've had a manic day in the shop. We today. have, it's been crazy. But I will try very, very hard to get this online tomorrow and I will try very hard to get the photos of the silky scarves done so that we can get um, those online after the weekend. We won't be able to do much this weekend ladies because it's our Black Friday clearance show tomorrow. If we've got time I'll talk about that, if not um, we will have, you'll have to read all the notices tomorrow. We've got um, uh, 10 minutes. Okay, well, okay we have this, I've almost finished. And I would also ask him to get me this cow belt, and um, which is thirty pounds, and the coin purse, which is fourteen, because I love a bit of animal print. It's the inner Essex in me, ladies. So that is a present from my husband. Now the present from me to me is this. Oh my God, I love this black and white tote. It went online last night. Um, I just, I, this just, I just love it. You know, it's, it's. Every time you go shopping, you can take this with you, and you yep. get everything that you need in it, and it just adds a little bit of glamour to your life. It could be an overnight bag, and your laptop can go in and there. My laptop can go in it. So this is going to become <laughs> my work bag. I'm still using my summer basket that Linda gave me for my birthday a couple of years ago. I haven't moved on to a winter bag. Yeah, but I'm going to move on to this. Um, my next gift to myself, very quickly, because you know I love a little bit of bling, is this. And this is the gold oval chain link bracelet. It's online at £30. And needs to come lower. Pounds. A little bit closer so we can focus. There we go. Can you just turn it round, please? 
Do you see the links? Yeah, there I you go. I love this. Yeah, it's very chunky. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Have That's you got that, Michaela? <laughs> Michaela's going, oh, I've got that. I love it. I've got that. I've got that. Have you got that, yeah, Michaela? I'm not sure how many of these you've got, Michaela. So don't guess it. Right, and then, of course, these. Oh, these. Oh, yeah. my God. These are my guests today. Just let me say, ladies, there is no 41 left. They're mine. Now, Block Hill, High Frog, because Donna and I love to wear short trousers, so our eye goes and our jeans will just pop over the top of these. Patent leather, they're from Vanessa Wu. The RRP is 79 pounds, we are selling them for 60. There is a but. The only thing I would say, ladies, is that um, for the first time ever, you need to stick definitely stick to your size. These are quite narrow. They are I narrow. I normally take a 40 in Vanessa Wu, and I've had a 41. And then finally, I need a new purse. So this is the little purse from Jani Conti. It's £42 online. My gift to me from me. Can I just say, those boots, I've been looking at those boots all day. Can you hold them up again, please? I've been looking at these boots all day, and it wasn't until I put them on, as soon as I put them on to try them on, I thought, Peaky Blinders. You know, did you watch Peaky Blinders? Watch Peaky okay, Blinders. they're very Peaky Blinders. D does that make sense? Am I talking rubbish? Does anybody they're know what I mean? Bad. Can you show the front, the front of them, please? I love them. Yeah, yes, oh, and I just, them. yeah, I just come closer. Love. So they're, what Sarah hasn't said is that, look, can you see that they're suede effect? So they're a suede effect, so they're two-tone in um, uh, appearance. And very peaky blinders How is what I say. Can I do uh, you, oh, sorry, you have seven minutes. Right, okay, so very quickly, Black Friday. You know we don't do Black Friday, but what we've done is we've brought forward our clearance sale. So instead of having one in January, we are having it tomorrow night. At five o'clock, we are selling items on our £10 rail. At six o'clock, we are selling items on our £19 rail. At seven o'clock, we are going to do items that are 50 pounds and under. I've got all this sorted out on Monday. Because we didn't have a clearance sale last year, because we were in lockdown, because we weren't able to open last November, because we were in lockdown, there are some mega, mega bargains, ladies. So do watch it. And unlike other brands and other companies where the price is artificially inflated. These are not from current season. They are genuine, genuine bargains. It's a clearance sale, so, you know, you're going to get some bargains. And they are not being reduced online. So some of these items will be showing online and they will remain online at a higher price yep. until we go to sale in January. The only time before January that you can get the garments at this price is tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Our Black Friday clearance sale is for three days. You cannot order online. You will have to message us, email us, call us or comment. So it's going to be the usual auction format. As we finish each video, it will be uploaded to Instagram. So it will go up to Instagram throughout the evening tomorrow. And then as soon as Donna and I get back from supper, because we are going to have to eat, so we're nipping into Stratton's for something to eat, I will sit down and I will get all the videos on YouTube and then I will send them out in an email which will land in your inbox on Saturday mornings. Do not hang around, ladies. These garments will go, and if they don't get sold, the offer is running out on Sunday anyway. But I think they will get sold because yeah. we've got some fabulous So to there. conclude, three separate events tomorrow. So three separate times that we will be going live. We'll be having a cup of tea in between, but there will be three separate so events. So just give you time to have a wee, yeah. um, to grab a glass of wine, and um, move on to the next one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, right. Okay, I think we, we need to... you some great ideas for Christmas. Yeah. We're back next Thursday with our five Christmas outfits. Each. Yeah, and they're agreeing with me. Very Peaky Blinders. Thank oh. you. 1920s. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody.